Yo, what is up, my brainiacs? It's your boy Rob. Thanks for tuning in to the Rob Some Knowledge YouTube channel, and you already know what time it is. So there's a new version of uTorrent, okay? uTorrent 3.5.3 has officially been closed in the beta stage and is now in a public release stage. As you can see on screen, we have uTorrent 3.5.3 with build 44358. And today we're gonna be showing you guys how to speed up your downloads. Who could have guessed it? All right, let's go ahead and just hop right into this. No need to waste any time and silly nanny and goof and gaff around, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and open up your preferences tab right here. If you don't know how to get there, you hit Control P or Command P on a Mac, or you can just go up here to Options and Preferences right there. That'll pop you up in this window, okay? Now the first thing we're going to go to here is the Connection tab. Okay, now under the Connection tab, you're gonna wanna go ahead and set this port to 45682. These three boxes you want to have checked, and the only box that should be unchecked in this top part is randomize port each start. You do not want to randomize your port. You want to use the port that I selected for you. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead and go to the bandwidth tab. Not much to put in here. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do, maximum upload rate is set to zero for unlimited. And the maximum download rate, you want to go ahead and set that to zero for unlimited as well. You want to uncheck these. A lot of times this box will be checked by default, the apply rate limit to UTP connections. You want to go ahead and uncheck that. You want faster speeds? Uncheck that box right now. Anyways, guys, down to the global, uh, the number of connections, sorry, for the global maximum number of connections. You're actually going to want to go ahead and put this to 200, okay? Now the maximum number of connected peers per torrent, you're going to want to set that to 50. And for the number of upload slots per torrent, you're going to want to put this between 4 and 10. Okay, I like 4. And uh, for this box right here, you want to go ahead and check this box for use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to the BitTorrent section, guys. We're about halfway done. We're almost done. Let's go. Now, for these, you want all of these boxes checked. With the exception of these last two, you want to uncheck limit local peer bandwidth, no bueno, and you want to uncheck enable altruistic mode. No altruistic mode today. For protocol encryption, go ahead and set the outgoing to enabled and allow incoming legacy connections. Almost done guys, just a few more settings. We're gonna go ahead and go to the queuing tab. For the maximum number of torrents, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set this to, you're actually going to want to head and set this to 60. And for the maximum number of down, downloads, you're going to want to set that to 30. Now you can play around with these. These aren't a huge importance, but um, if you're downloading more than one, more than 30 at once, then I wouldn't really, I wouldn't be watching videos like this. I'd just stop downloading so much at once. Anyways, from here on out, <clears throat> uh, you don't really need much of this. I don't. You don't have to fill this in, but uh, for seeding, I normally put that to around 200. You should at least do 100% seed. Always give back at least what you take. Okay, now last step here, guys. We're going to go ahead and go to the advanced tab. We're looking for three settings in here. You can either scroll down and find them in the list, or you can type them in the filter box up here. The first one is at the very top. It is BT allow same IP. This is going to be set to false, but you want to set it to true and hit apply. Then from there, we're going to find DHT dot rate right here this is set to one i believe but you want to set it to two and you see the asterisk next to it that means i've changed it so go ahead and hit set and apply it's not going to let me click it because it's already set but you guys will be able to click it and the last setting will be rss update interval right here i believe it's set to 10 or 15 you want to go ahead and set that to 20 hit set hit apply and then hit ok and then after that, guys, you are all done. Nothing left to do except for hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell all of your friends. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm trying to upload a lot more. I need to get my subscriber count out up. Sorry, I need to get my view count up. And let's just get to grinding. I will see you guys later. Peace out, Brainiacs.